Good Friday night with William Moody. At last the bird that sang so long in twilight circles hushed his song. Above the ancient square the stars came here and there. Good Friday night. Some hearts were bowed, but some amid the wedding crowd because of too much youth held not that music roof. And of his hearts my heart was one. Now and then at the ark of stone with dirge and candle flame the cross of passion came. In my glad spirit fear reproof, borne the awful tree aloof, and spiritual dead dropped the ensanguined head. To one who stood where myrtles made a little space of deeper shade, as I could half descry, a stranger even as I. I said, his youths be alone, the symbols of a saviour's wrong, the spear, the garment torn, the faggle and the torn. Why do they make this murmury? Would not a brave man gladly die for a much smaller thing than to be Christ and King? He answered nothing, and I turned, thrown in its hundred candles burned the jewelled eidolon of her who bore the sun. A crowd was prostrate, still I felt no shame until the stranger knelt, when not to kneel almost seemed like the vulgar boast. I kneel, the dull face waxing white, flowed out a living dimness, bright dawned the dear mortal grace of my own mother's face. In the horizon up, the street was vacant, all the air hung sweet with lemon flowers, and soon the sky would hold the moon. Was silently the new-found friends, to whom much silence makes amends for the much babble wing, but yet the lives were trained. We walked along wondrous hill, the light was little yet, his will I could not see to trace upon his form or face. So when a loop the cold moon broke, I cried heart stung, as when a walk returned unto my cries the anguish of his eyes. Friend, master, I cried falteringly, or cease to think of a make of thee, or by the light divine my mother shares with thine. I beg that I may lay my head upon thy shoulder and be fed with thoughts of brotherhood, so through the door's wood. More silently when friends new found we walked, and the first meter bone, his figure ashen stoled, sang in the moon's broad gold.